Big A. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Big T. <tea. laughs> yeah. Well, Trent, uh, tremendous performance from yourself today. 5 for 106, 10th five wicket bag in tests. Trent Walt and Trent Bruce seem to be coming BFS pretty quick. I've actually never played here before, so that was the debut at Trent Bridge. But um, yeah, uh, obviously some hard work done throughout the last couple of days, and um, yeah, I think the game is is quite nicely poised to be um, yeah 230 odd ahead. Um, yeah, with a couple of power hitters left in the tank, it um, yeah, should obviously unfold to, to be a, an interesting last day's Test cricket. Well, it makes it two tests in a row, doesn't it? Where it's just intriguingly poised, and that's really what people want from their test cricket if you're a neutral fan is seeing this and knowing that both sides are capable of winning. Yeah 100% it's always exciting turning up to the last day um, realising obviously that result is, is still on the line but yeah uh, probably reflecting over that wicket over the last couple of days people saying it's a very flat true good wicket um, but yeah I thought uh, there's enough excitement there to, to keep everyone interested on day five and um, yeah, any runs we gather in the morning should uh, make it very interesting. How did you see it playing when you were bowling out there? And what was the feedback you're getting from batting? Is it, is it starting to, to break up at all, or is there any sort of vertical bounce? Uh, well, without stating the obvious, I think the new ball's cruci crucial on the, on the wicket. Um, I thought the way they bowled to us just before uh, lunch there probably excited us enough that if we keep it um, uh, simple enough and uh, put enough pressure on, on any batsman, it's, it's going to do the trick. So uh, we'll focus on extending the lead as much as we can, and then uh, obviously be excited to get the ball uh, in our hands to, to hopefully bowl for a test win. And what was the, I guess, intent out there? It seemed like it was fairly positive for the most part. I mean, I'm thinking you know, a number of those innings where you're looking to, to advance the lead, particularly Michael Bracewell, yeah, he can hit a ball. Yeah, he definitely can. I, I think looking at the, um, I suppose the whole performance of the last three or four days with the bat, um, runs have been flowing. Uh, you, you see that run rate up around that, that four runs per over kind of mark. But um, yeah, in terms of the plan for, for us, obviously we were trying to extend the lead as much as possible to, to give us something to bowl at. So. I thought a couple of crucial cameos there to um, to add to that total, and um, yeah, hopefully there's still a few more to come tomorrow. Is there a risk of, of taking too long or scoring too many runs and England just you know, shut up shop? Uh, know their coach relatively well, and I don't think they'll be shutting up shop. So um, yeah, it's exciting to uh, come here in the morning tomorrow. Um, you know, with all those results on the on the table, um, yeah, and the boys are very excited for it. And do you feel? Um, I mean, if Carl's not bowling tomorrow, I don't know what his, his scam was today, how much tough is that going to be for the bowler down? Yeah, obviously not ideal, but um, yeah, fear for, fear for, feel for Kyle with uh, the workload that he's been through and um, yeah, we definitely have uh, the skills in the, in the tank with the, the fast bowlers we have out there at the moment and our new found spinner in Michael Bracewell who gives the ball a tremendous rip and uh, looks to offer uh, a little bit of bounce as well, so it's going to be an exciting day. Yeah, 100%. It's always exciting turning up to the last day, um, realising obviously that result is, is still on the line. But yeah, uh, probably reflecting over that wicket over the last couple of days, people saying it's a very flat, true, good wicket. Um, but yeah, I thought uh, there's enough excitement there to, to keep everyone interested on day five. And um, yeah, any runs we gather in the morning should uh, make it very interesting.